You're watching Telecom TV from Mobile World Congress 2019 in Barcelona. I'm joined now by Anders Rosengren of Ericsson and Gabriele Di Piazza of VMware. Gabriele and Anders, thanks for joining me today. Gabriele, at this show, Ericsson and VMware have made uh, an announcement about an alliance agreement um, to help CSP simplify and accelerate this journey to network virtualization. What can you tell me ab uh, about the announcement? Yeah, sure, uh, most simply uh, three key points. Number one, uh, this is a long-term agreement. We signed a five-year agreement in uh, uh, collaborating with Ericsson in the space of you know, network function virtualization, uh, interoperability and certification. Second aspect is I see the value of two companies such as Ericsson and VMware complementing each other in actually putting, uh, having Ericsson software run consistently on VMware infrastructure. The third aspect is actually a critical and uh, very practical. We open up a certification lab uh, where we are actually uh, jointly collaborating. Our teams are actually uh, jointly working together in uh, certifying and optimizing uh, uh, Ericsson virtual network functions on VMware the cloud and AV, NFV infrastructure. And what do you see as the biggest challenges impacting CSPs today, and how can this alliance help? I think that uh, CSPs in this moment, they need to accelerate the pace of uh, innovation and uh, deployment of their next generation networks, and even current networks, in, in a moment of transformation. Uh, I see these skills, as I said before. Now we start to see a company which has been, obviously, in the network business and uh, which is the bringing this expertise uh, to the table where a company such as VMware which has been in cloud virtualization uh, automation technology I think this is uh, a perfect combination between the two companies. Anders can you provide us with some more technical detail around the alliance? Now at first I think uh, to Gabriella's word here is, is this, this alliance this partnership is all about one thing it's making it easier for the CSPs, for our joint customers, to run the VMware cloud together with our network functions like Packet Core, like uh, IMS, like UDM, or our operations and support uh, system suites like with uh, automation, orchestration, or our business support systems, uh, charging, billing, to run them as consistently, as efficiently as possible on the VMware cloud. It's also about shortening the time to uh, deployment, shortening the time to uh, uh, revenue, actually, for our joint customers. So that, that's the sort of the main part of it. And we are supporting that, exactly as you said, Gabriella, about creating uh, and building a certification lab where we do certification uh, together with uh, uh, VMware. We also do system verification, which really taking the next step into testing the functionality, but also the characteristics. And then we're working together on optimization. And that is also important is to really make sure that our workloads, our network functions, OSS and BSS systems, run as efficiently as with best characteristics as possible on VMware's cloud. So that's what we are doing together. And I think, as you say, it's about making that as efficient as possible. On top of that, finally, we do also documentation. So we document our, our joint solutions together to make it easy to deploy, to avoid hassle, system integration, et cetera. Gabrielli, can you provide details as to which virtual network functions have been certified on the vCloud NFV? Yeah, well, it's a wide question. Actually, the collaboration with Ericsson has been happening for the last couple of years. Uh, in fact, I'm glad to see these announcements, but at the same time, we also already had a, an existing collaboration. Um, I would say that v, um, VMware and Ericsson had this uh, certification process going on. We have over 18 virtual network functions. Uh, from full range of virtual packet core, communication services, IMS, and some other ancillary services without naming all of them. Uh, but I would say that, you know, as Ander said, this goes beyond just the basic certification. There is a system verification and optimization. Of course, we will be expanding this to areas such as OSS, BSS, orchestration, which are areas that are actually, you know, uh, uh, necessary to run a co consistent, you know, cloud infrastructure. Anders, do you have an example of a customer who is already using your joint offering? Well, today we have over uh, 50 CSPs that are running VMware and Ericsson products together. Uh, and one prominent example is, of course, Vodafone, where we have worked jointly together with Vodafone, whether with VMware, 
over the last years, as you said, to really get our workloads to run as efficiently. And, and in there we have our packet core nodes, our IMS nodes, our uh, mobile subscribing center nodes as well running on there. And I think it also comes back, so, and we would really want to help the operators, the CSPs, to be as quickly to deployment and uh, revenue, and also to speed up the introduction of new services, and uh, when we are moving to 5G, this will be even more important. And Gabriele, this is all about collaboration. Uh, I want to point again uh, the fact that it's collaboration. Yes, there's a technology aspect, but at the end of the day, the value is in shortening the time to uh, service adoption and revenue. So time to revenue is a key thing, so that, that's the only thing I'm going to add. Gabriele and Anders, both thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much.